Hi guys, so this is a MAC haul. Um, I did sort of spend a little bit too much, all because I watched Velvet Ghost's MAC starter kit video. Um, I watched it when it came out, like months ago, but I sort of had a bit of spare money, so I thought, you know, I'm gonna decide, like, do loads of research, loads of YouTube videos about the MAC, like, starter kit, and, um, yeah, I just sort of spent a little bit of money. Yeah, anyway, I'm happy about it and I have used the products um, because obviously this is how I've done my face today. So, yeah. First thing I'm gonna grab in my little box is my MAC Studio Fix Fluid Foundation. Now this is in the shade NC15. On the island we don't have like a Debenhams, a John Lewis, nothing like that so I didn't know what colour I was so I had to do quite a lot of research. Then I found this website, um, like what was it called? Foundation, like find your foundation match colour. So I went on that and I did a swatch from my Estee Lauder Stay In Place Double Wear Foundation, which I'm in Ivory Nude, and it came up with MAC NC15, so, and it is the exact same colour and I'm really, really pleased with it. So I love this foundation and this is what um, Gabby wears. Yeah, I just, I love it, I love the packaging. And this was 21.50, I believe, whereas my Estee Lauder foundation is 29 pounds, so at least I'm saving a little bit of money on my foundation, but I don't mind, you know, I'd rather buy high-end foundation and not look cakey. Um, with, like, drugstore foundations, well, some drugstore foundations make you look really cakey and fake because it's not always good, for, like, the good formula that they add in, but anyway, I don't know, I just... I just prefer going with all high-end foundations and whatnot. So um, I needed a new concealer because my collection, last re lasting whatever it's called, concealer, it's like the fairest one and it made me orange and I was a bit in shock. I, yeah, I sort of needed a new concealer because concealer is my life with my under eyes, like dark circles, my blemishes, everything. Redness, brr. So of course, relating to Gabby's um, video, I got the Pro Longwear Concealer and I got this in NC15 as well. Um, I have been told to get like a lighter concealer, get a darker concealer, someone told me, I was a bit in shock. Then I've been told to get like the same colour as your foundation, so I did, and this is still lighter than my foundation, so it is like sort of highlighting. I did, I have got it under my eyes, I'm not sure if you can tell. <laughs> But yes, and it's just so ditty and cute, and I love it. I love MAC packaging, it's just so pretty. I have like a massive MAC obsession now that I've spent so much money with them, so my bad. <laughs> Following on from like getting a high street drugstore, uh, like concealers and powders and stuff, um, I needed a powder to set my foundation because my foundation is rather, because my foundation is rather dewy, um, no matter what foundation it is, it's just dewy on my skin, so I had to get a powder to set it, um, it just gives that like flawless effect, and I really like it. My skin is so spotty at the moment, I'm not sure if you can tell with my forehead, but I have been covering up quite a lot, and even though, you know, it's still, bye bye girl. This is the Studio Fix powder in NC15 again. I love the packaging with all of like Mac blush, so pretty. So this is what it comes like. So you can mirror up here. Oh, I don't want to blind you. And the powder, uh, <laughs> just the way I pooed. And then it flips up, and you've got a little sponge as well. I don't really use a sponge. Um, I'll probably end up saving that for like. My makeup collection I'm slowly getting into. Um, I just use a tapered, like, sort of blusher, bronzer, face brush uh, from Eco Tools, which I really like. So, and then I got the Pro Longwear Paint Pot in, of course, Painterly, which is this shade that Velvet Ghost recommends. Gabby Velvet Ghost. Obviously, this is a whole lot relation to her. So, this is basically the colours that she's like says I have obviously used this to test it out so as you can 
briefly see maybe I don't, I don't know briefly see I have used it but it's an absolute gorgeous colour I'll just swatch it for you it's it's a very lovely colour I love it absolutely love it then I wanted um well it was sort of like an eyeshadow palette that I wanted and they come in like fours um sixes 10s, 12s, 15s, I'm not sure, I think, um, see I'm crab, and then I realised they did it in a two and I was so happy because I wanted like a sort of like yellowy but pale colour to like here and then like a brown here which I've been doing with my eyes lately with the lid stuff from Soap and Glory little eyeshadow palette. Yeah I saw they did a like a two, just like two palette. I sort of wanted my first eyeshadows from MAC to be in a palette instead of like the little pots themselves. So yeah, I've got a nice little set and it's magnetic, which I really like. I, I just realised I haven't been saying the prices for everything else except the foundation, so I'll just leave all the prices below. And obviously with that I chose two colours. So I've got a sort of like, like basically the base colour. Um, that I've been using and this is in the shade rice paper so I've done a quite a lot of research and quite a few people said to get rice paper so I was like okay I'll get rice paper okay um I, was, I still wear like painterly over the top as well and then just like top it up with that um but obviously I haven't used it today because I wanted to show you in the nice little packaging I just use the lid stuff so blah 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 and then the other like brownie colour I was stuck between espresso and Oh, what's the other colour? What's the other colour? It was like something brown. Um, I don't know if it was soft brown. I don't know. Probably not. Just ignore what I've just said. And obviously I got espresso. So it was a really hard decision, but it was such a pretty colour. So oh, let's see if I can get them out. Oh, I don't want to get them out. They're too pretty. Look how pretty that is. Oh no, no. Such a Ooh, just like brown colour. I think Gabby used these for her eyebrows, that brown colour though. But I sort of wanted like a brown for the outer crease and whatnot. My ash eyeshadow probably isn't blended out well or done well, but that's because I'm still learning, so please leave me alone. Don't be nasty on my eye makeup. I am practicing quite a lot from watching YouTube videos because so many people ask me, like, oh my god, how do you do your eye makeup? And na na na. And I'm like, well, no joking. So that's what it looks like inside, which is so nice and pretty. Yay! Yay! <laughs> and then the last thing that I am so slow at getting this jump on the bandwagon, woo woo woo. But it's um, a lipstick, and I bet no one can guess what colour it is. Um, velvet, velvet teddy, maybe velvet teddy. Yes, I asked Shane to get me this for my birthday in March. He was in London at the time. And he went to every Mac store possible in London, and it was sold out everywhere. So I was gutted. But it like recently came back on stock in line online, and um, I just had to get it there and then. I was like, Mum, 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 I need it. I need it. I have used it, and it's what I'm wearing today. So I really like the colour. Yeah, it's so pretty. I'm just gonna. Mmm, look at that. My hands are so white. <laughs> I really, really, really uh, like the colour. Yay! Finally I got it. <laughs> I do have another MAC lipstick which is in Blankety Amplified, which I really like, and that's sort of like a nudie just grab it. A nudie colour. So put the next one on as you can tell the slight difference. Like Velvet Teddy is sort of like a darker nude and then you've got, so you've got Velvet Teddy and Blankety. So yeah, that's the end of this MAC video. Um, I did spend a lot because I really wanted to change my makeup products. I had enough of Estee Lauder and Snow Clays Double Wear Foundation um, only because it just wasn't working for my skin anymore and uh, I keep I keep having this with the foundation. I have really good days and it's like oh, 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 my skin is 
and then other days it's just awful and it just doesn't want to go well at all so I was like Do you know what I'm just gonna change my foundation I don't even care girl and did tons and tons of research so yes I am very pleased with all of this and can see this is gonna be even more of an obsession than I thought obviously Christmas birthdays woo! <laughs> and just whenever so yes when my collection does grow even bigger 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 because their brushes are like oh but the, they're like so expensive for a makeup brush, but ugh, it's just life. <laughs> then I will do like a matte collection, blah, blah, blah. But let's not get ahead two of ourselves because I've got loads to pay for. My driving test is in under two weeks. Um, so I've got that. If I fail, that's another £62. And then I've got like my college course I've got to pay for to become a makeup artist. Cool. <laughs> Disney, I've got to like save up for like money for Disney and then essentials before Disney and oh my god I'm so poor. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. Give it a big thumbs up and leave me a cheeky comment if you want. That was like the worst thing I could have said but never mind. And I will see you in my next video. Bye!